Praise the Lord, everyone. It's happy once again to be here. I welcome you onto our series that are continuing as Scripture Union. My name is Arthur Kamiya Omusolo, and I serve with Scripture Union Uganda Eastern Region as the Ministry Regional Coordinator. And I am married to a one and only Kana Kasaka Omusolo. We love you so much. And before we go to the word for today, let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, you are great, you are mighty. We thank you for the fire you have brought us, King of glory. Even amidst these tough times of COVID-19, Father, you have still preserved us, Lord Abba Father. We thank you, and as we are going to listen from your word, it's our prayer that this word sinks deep in our hearts and that it will surely bear fruit in us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our reading today will be taken from Luke chapter 15 from verses 11, and it is basically about getting back to your senses. You are about to ask me, am I out of my senses? No. You could be out, you could be in. But, let's take that reading. When you look at verses 11, it says, And he said, A man had two sons. The younger of them said to the father, Father, Give me the share of the estate that falls to me. Now, this is the story of the prodigal son. The father had two sons, the elder one and the younger one. I'm sure they had grown together with their father. They had that communion, just like we were also created by the Lord. We, we were created very well, and we were together in communion with the Lord. But as we grow up, Things change. This young man grew and reached a level of asking for his share of inheritance. Yes, in African tradition, it is common that we inherit our father's property. But then, have you worked for it? Do you deserve it? Are you inheriting it at the right time? You may be out there, you're also targeting to inherit something. But are you doing it at the right time? What are your plans for that property? This young son, when you read that whole story, it tells you that he asked the father, and the father gave him the share of his belonging. And he carried everything and went to a distant country. And the Bible says he spent all the wealth in wild living. What is the wild living today? Talk of betting, talk of prostitution, talk of gambling. He spent all this money in such things that were not beneficial to him. Yet where he went, he was one of the rich guys around, what today you call the dons. But eventually after spending all this money, he became very poor. And the Bible tells us that a famine came and struck the land. The boy didn't have anything to eat. He was left with nothing. Yet the father had given him everything he needed. Friends, times come when you think you are wise. You go to your father, they give everything, and you end up on the streets. And everything is wasted like that. This young man, when the family came, he ended up looking for another rich man in the village who gave him the pigs to take care of. Now we all know what pigs eat. We all know how pigs behave. We all know where pigs live. Here in Africa, we put pigs under trees in mud and that's where they, they stay. Very dirty, very what? But this boy was put to take care of these pigs. And the Bible is very clear that he said he wished to eat with the pigs and he wished to eat what the pigs were feeding on, but no one gave him. Beloved, we know what pigs eat. They eat leftovers, sometimes rotten food, sometimes things that you even don't desire to smell. But this boy reached a level of desiring to eat with the pigs. Don't reach that level. When you get to that level, you will know that you're out of your senses. Because if you are in your senses, then you can't get that level. The same thing to this boy. 
if he was in his senses, then he wouldn't have gotten to that level. He would have spent the wealth the father gave him in the right way. When you read verses 17, it says, But when he came to his senses, he said, How many of my father's hired men have more than enough bread? But I am dying here with hunger. He came to his senses and he remembered his father back home. He remembered the hired servants back home. They're eating enough. They even live. But for him, he's here struggling to try to eat with the pigs. But even not allowed. The baby is clear. When he came to his senses, he reflected backwards. I don't know what you're going through. When I was growing up, I also went out of my senses. I did the drugs, I fought, I did all kinds of nonsense. But when I came back to my senses, I remembered when God created me, He didn't want me to be like this. I remembered how many children of God have enough. How many children of God are enjoying life. I am yet I'm here suffering with drugs. Verse 18 continues and says, I will get up and go to my father. I will. I'm sure we all know English. That was a proposal within him that he will get up and go to his father. He began thinking and suggesting different options of how to get out of this mess he was in. But that only happened when he is back in his senses. You too, when you get back to your senses, you realize that you now need to get out of what you are doing that is not right. I don't know whether you are also into drugs, whether you are into multiple relationships, whether you are into, into robbery. Think through. What is it that you need to get up out of and you go back to the father so when he said i will get up and go back to my father and said to him father i have sinned against heavens and against you i am no longer worthy to be called your son make me one of your hired, hired men or hired servants this boy's desire was basically to find something to eat but the father, the Bible is clear. It tells us when the boy came to the father, the father saw him from a distance. And the father was able to realize that that is my son. Praise the Lord. We all know it here in Africa that when a child is yours, right from a distance, no matter how many years they have spent in wilderness, you are able to notice that that one coming is your son. That that one coming is your friend. So there was that bonding, that connection. And it's the same thing that happens in the spiritual realm. The Lord created us. And he desired us to have life in its fullness. But because we thought we are wise, we left the kingdom of the Lord. And we are out there living in wild living. We are doing a lot of things that do not construct us. That do not develop us. But the day you get back to your senses and make a U-turn to come back to the Father. He will be able to notice and he will come with his arms wide open to hug you. The Bible says, when the boy came back to his father, his father saw him at a distance. He ran and hugged him and they organized a party and danced and celebrated his return. Friends out there, like I said, you know yourself what you're struggling with. You know what point of life you need to come back to your senses. You may be operating out of your senses, but when you don't know. Some things look normal, but they are too abnormal. You cannot say you're in your senses when 24-7 you're in sports betting. You cannot say you are in your senses when 24-7 you're doing drugs. You cannot say you're in your senses when you are operating multiple relationships. You cannot say you're in your senses when you're the most violent person in the society. Try to look around the people 
There are those who are peaceful. There are those who are harmonious. And whatever they do is progressing. They are in their senses. Would you like to be there like them? Do you have a life to live after what you're doing? Get back to your senses and come back to the Father Jesus and He will sort you out. <laughs>